Hey guys, it's Alam. Up to this point, much of what I'm going to show you guys today has been merely my theory. That is, until today, thanks to a powerful coordinate scale mod that I wrote for Minecraft Beta 1.7.3, with which I can now show you guys the true extent of the Minecraft Farlands. And with, even with 64-bit integers on the default noise scale, we've been early been able to scratch the surface. So right here, you can see the first stage of the degrading. Which, occur, which in Bedrock Edition could be found about at a bit over 9,000 blocks into the Far Lands. But in Java Edition, it's more like what over 9,000 means in the meme. About, or to be specific, about 8.175 about 8 times 10 to the power of 48 blocks. That's 8.175 quindecillion blocks. So you, could, you saw at the beginning how some stretches of terrain gave way, just gave way. Now, you might be thinking, hey, I'm only 4,000 blocks out, but in this map, one block on the x-axis is actually equivalent to two quatordicillion blocks in a regular world. So, so you have to multiply my x-coordinate in the F3 here by two, by two quatordicillion to get the real coordinate we're just regenerating in a regular world. So now we arrive at the second stage of the degrading, which occurs at 8.5766 times 10 to the 48 blocks out on a regular world. You can clearly see that the terrain uh, the, that is the equivalent of 12,560,361 on bedrock. You can clearly see that the, that the terrain changes to have more comb-like structures. Now, the next stage is the next stage is actually what I consider as the true beginning of the fringe lands, uh, a term that I actually that I actually got from Mu Nanny's video description and in, 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 in a video on the bet on the pocket edition farlands that's what it was at the time and i actually kind of like that but you will guys but you guys will see it in a few moments here so the comb like structures will finally you see here give way in, in just a little bit and you can actually see most of the terrain just stop so so now you guys can see the true start of the fringe lands, which occurs at 9.17 times 10 to the uh, 9.17624 times 10 to the 48th blocks on a default world. Now I need to. Now I actually need to. Now I need to need to head over to the other side. Let's see if I can make this. Whew, that was close. So yeah, you can see here the, the fringe lands start at 9.17 times 10 to the 48 blocks on a default world. What in Java, what in Bedrock Edition can be found literally less than 10 minutes after the start of the Far Lands, in Java Edition occurs at a distance beyond any physical comparison. And at 1.03 times 10 to the power of 49 blocks, or to be more exact, actually about 10 quindecillion, 299 quatordecillion, 980 trinecillion. The terrain thins out to one block line, like at 12,562,277 on Bedrock Edition. All right, so before, so before I show you guys the next milestone, let's now take a look at how this looks on the Z-axis. So let's head into our z fire to E45 world here. And you will see that I am in the Z-fringe lands. There's a lot more comb-like structures. Now, the degrading actually starts at 9.17 times 10 to the... 9.17624 times 10 to the 48th on the Z-axis, rather than 8.175 times 10 to the 48th, like on the X-axis. So just... Has, just like how the in the Bedrock Edition Farlands, the degrading on the z-axis starts at 12,561,029 as opposed to 12,559,913. The terrain in this act, on the z-axis will eventually fade out into a sky grid. Now you can now you can see quite a few floating pillars of sorts, and the stretches of terrain gradually thin out. On the z-axis, the degrading is actually more gradual than on the x-axis. All right. All right. All right. 
And, and now, the part you've all been waiting for. The final limits of creation in Minecraft. So you can see that at double the distance of the one block lines, or about 2.06 times 10 to the 49th blocks, pretty much all the one block lines come to a stop. So, you could get, I guess you could pretty much consider this the end of the Minecraft Farlands in Java Edition, except for this one isolated dotted line over there. Now, I previously predicted that the Farlands in Minecraft Java Edition would actually end at about 1.8283327 times 10 to the 59th, but it turns out that it actually that they actually end much earlier, most likely due to more octaves experiencing the same floating point overflow that causes the fringe lands. Anyway, you could, anyway, this looks pretty much like 12,758,545 blocks out on the x-axis in Bedrock Edition. Yeah. There, now let's, get it. now let's exit out of this world here. And now I'll show you guys what this looks like on the z-axis. So, I'm underwater right now. But you can see that the terrain fades out into a sky grid on the z-axis. Just like in Bedrock Edition. But, unlike in Bedrock Edition, the Z, the far Z sky grid actually thins out as we travel further. Like you can see that the last uh, you saw in the world name that, that, that one block on this map is rough, and the Z axis is equivalent to 2 times 10 to the 47 blocks in the regular world. So this is about equivalent to 3.68 times 10 to the 49th. So that's when the last comb artifact ends. But you can see that the sky grid, unlike in Bedrock Edition, actually thins out. No, and of course, since I'm, I'm not even sure if this mod works with single player commands yet, but I actually hope it does. But until then, we're, I'm pretty much limited to, to only vanilla methods of transportation in my investigation here. But you can see that the Z sky grid thins out as we travel further into the E49 range. And the furthest out I've actually seen it generate anything was about 5.6 times 10 to the 50th blocks. So, yeah. Thanks. So yeah. I'm not sure if we actually would ever, if we'd ever see the sky grid fit out in the Z-axis in Bedrock Edition, although I'm pretty sure it didn't before 32 million, anywhere before 32 million. Because that was the first I was able to check. But yeah, you get my point very much. So far, I've really, I've only been traveling along one axis. But you may be wondering, what if we traveled along both axes? How would this look in the corner farlands? Well, we find that eventually the corner farlands and this in, in Java edition give way, give way to the sky grid of the Bedrock Edition corner farlands. And, and you can actually see on, on beneath there, there's like pillars and, and other artifacts. So let's see if we can drop down a layer. Let's see, let's see if we can drop down a layer. Anywhere. Actually, over here. We, actually, over here we can. It is turning night, so kind of hard. See, let's drop down a layer. And you can see like pillars down here transitioning into the sky grid from the stack. Now, the distance I'm at right now is about. 500 blocks away from spawn on both axes, but the noise multipliers in both axes on this map are set to 1.0 E23, so it's actually equivalent to roughly 40, 45, well, around 45 septillion blocks out on both axes. And there is a diagonal pattern down there. The, action, the, di the stack doesn't really end until about 100, until about 100 septillion in both axes, or, or somewhere, or around 90 septillion. So, yeah. There's one last thing I have to show thing I have to show you guys, which is the fringe lands combining with the edge farther lands in the corner far lands. So you'll see that I actually am at the roughly roughly the far lands coordinate on the z-axis. So I actually am in the edge farther lands within the corner far within the corner far lands. And then x multiplier in this map is set to one trade or one point oh e forty two. 
so you guys can see right over here is just a regular farmer land while on this side oh that was a large lag huge lag spike there but you can see on this side there you actually have the farmer lands transition the edge farmer lands transitioning into the sky grid now I actually showed the end the the fringe farmer lands in a in a video I made back in June on 1.12.2 in a customized world. Now, there, are the, for whatever reason, the comb artifacts in Skygrid did not generate. But here they do. So, the, and the interesting thing about the fringe lands is then the corner variation, the coordinates, the coordinate on one axis actually varies depending on how far out the other axis is. And the way we can figure this out is actually by, is actually by taking the interpolation equation and manipulating it and manipulating the interpolation equation using the double limit and uh, and the coordinates relative to the start of the far lanes. Now, fun fact, at, kil at Kilo Crazy Man's pace, it took about nine months to reach the far, the beginning of the far lands on foot. Well, to reach the, whereas to reach the end of the far lands on foot, would re would take about would take well over twelve hundred trillion 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 millennia, and that's on the x-axis. It would be even longer on the z-axis, and that's just theoretically assuming we had two hundred fifty-six bit technology to even get there in, in the first place. And by by multiplying the lengths of all four of the edge sections by 25,101,648 and using some integral calculus to calculate the area of the corner far lands, I was able to, I, 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 I estimate that the area, that the, that the total area of the far lands is about, is a bit over 10 to the 59th square blocks. By comparison, the area of a circle whose diameter is the diameter of the observable universe is about five is somewhere around five times ten to the fifty-three meters squared. So yeah, and lastly, one another which I actually forgot to mention during the video earlier in the video, the Minecraft wiki gives the end of Swiss cheese terrain. So the end of Swiss cheese terrain is at fifty-three point nine zero five quadrillion, but it's really at the nine point one seven times ten to the forty-eighth milestone on the x-axis. So yeah, guys. That's pretty much all I've got to show for today. Leave a like, leave a like if you enjoyed, and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell, and click on all to get all notifications. And goodbye.